Sin for London is an independent think tank for London. We're the only organisation uh, of our kind that helps London address its big problems and building its great strengths through many through research and holding meetings, conferences and other sorts of events. We wanted to establish a London conference to create sort of one event a year where different parts of London, people with different expertise, with different interests coming from different backgrounds could come together and talk about the future of this great city and it's really very much a core part of our mission as a, as a think tank to sort of knit together, bring together the different parts of London and the London Conference seems a really good way of doing that. This year's conference uh, has taken place six months before a general election and it's very much focused really on the general election and we're asking uh, two, two big questions. What can a new government do for London and what can London do to help a new government? I think it's really important to have an event like this that brings together policy makers, people who live and work in London have ideas about its future in a forum in which they can exchange ideas and think and plan the future of an already successful city. I think it's important to pull people together to think about London at a time when everyone is so excited about London's potential but also wary about the challenges it brings, the overcrowding and the difficult challenges for policymakers. One experience I had reporting uh, for the BBC was that actually London would benefit just as much as the rest of the UK from having a more decentralised country. This conversation about more devolution, more decentralisation of power applies to London as well. London's had a fantastic decade or so, both absolutely and relative to the rest of the UK, and indeed in a global sense. I call London the BRICS capital of the world. It's probably the world's greatest city right now. I think it is clear to me that London's strength is a very good thing for the UK and by definition the rest of the country. And particularly in the context of devolution and more power, I think it's very important that people in London are very specific about exactly what it is they want. I am really interested in hearing what the others have to say. Well, it's really exciting because what, London, what we've done today is bring together people who care about this city and care about the city's future. But what's great about the conference is it's fizzing with ideas. I think the best thing about London is that it attracts talent from around the country and around the world. And for that reason, it is a place of excellence in many, many different fields. And I think as a capital city, as a national city, uh, as well as an international city, it's really important to have such high standards for everybody. There are always going to be challenges in a big city like London where you have incredible wealth next to incredible poverty. There's a lot of global talent coming here and the system is responding to that, uh, that sense of dynamism. It's really essential for planners all over the world to understand the challenges that London faces. They're the same challenges that New York faces. They're the same challenges that most cities in the world face, and they're challenges of inequality, challenges of insufficient housing, challenges of assuring that a city can be resilient and sustainable in the 21st century. So we have to solve these problems together. Well, it's always good uh, such conferences that they are taking place. We know it all. You have a big movement to London, and the bigger a city is, the more province you have. For my opinion, it's a very hard fact to face it, but you can find ways to do it. It's really important to have an event like the London Conference to think properly about policy and also the politics of London. And I'm here today to debate with other people representing the different political parties on what we want from uh, London. I think it was great. It's good to have time where we focus just on London with people from across sectors and perspectives. We're in a city that does face quite particular challenges and while of course it is part of the broader UK, there's also things that are specific to London. It was great to have the time and space to thrash that out. Well, I think it's a really interesting time to come to an event like this. There's so much going on with London, um, both from a kind of macro-political sense, but also really locally. 
So to come today, uh, and particularly this afternoon, to hear such a diverse range of people talking about London was absolutely brilliant. Um, it only happens once a year and it happens here. Relative to other world cities, London has a relatively weak government structure. But one of the things that London does have is a very strong civic community. It has a strong debate between public sector, private sector, the voluntary sector and others. So the London Conference is a very critical event because it's one of the few ways in which the whole of London can come together to talk about its future. It's one of our secret weapons. We started the conference uh, four years ago, so we are, this is the, the, the fourth London conference, and it's gone from strength to strength. The London conference is very much a collaborative effort. We lead on it, but we work really closely with uh, our partners and, and, and funders, uh, both in shaping the programme um, and uh, in a sort of look and feel of the event. Uh, this year we were really pleased to work with our headline sponsor, uh, Capital and Counties, um, but we also involve uh, other backers and, and partners. We're really proud of the fact that uh, it's growing year by year and you sort of see happening, you know, in the corners of the conference, in the coffee breaks and other times, conversations between local authority leaders, business leaders, chief executives of, of, of trusts and foundations and charities talking to one another and that's really, because when you see that you think, okay, we're, we're doing something important here.